What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to discuss the possibility of a new class, new subclasses and a new element. Now this info has been hinted at as of recent and we actually had a leak hint at this a while back which many people have seemed to forgot about but we will cover that in today's video for sure. But hey guys if you do enjoy the video leaving the like it really helps me and my channel out. Also if you are subbed around here yeah, be sure to hit that bell button to be notified when I upload. Thank you, it does mean a lot. Okay, so as of recently, Destiny 2 has started to pick up from the game we first got back in September. And let's face it guys, it has been a massive disappointment. Let's not beat around the bush. And yeah, for sure we could all name a hundred reasons why it is the case, why the game and the franchise are struggling. Destiny has never been in such a bad state. In fact, I don't think I can recall any game coming back from such a state to make you recover. But hey, there's always a first and I actually believe Bungie have the foundations to do so. So changes to the game are happening. In fact, some changes have already been made. The game is a better game now than what it was. Still needs a lot of work, but it is better than what it was. I mean, it's kind of wrong to say, but one good thing has kind of come out of Destiny 2 failing so bad, and that is Bungie being 100% more responsive, 100% more transparent, and are trying to deliver on what most of us want for the game. Yes, for sure, for many it's way too late. Many have moved on, and that is truly understandable. But for some like me who have stuck around, we wait patiently for the game to deliver on what we all expect from the sequel to one of the biggest games ever. And the wait, in my opinion, will eventually pay off. And it's already starting to. Many changes to the core game to make it more like D1 are in the works. You guys don't need me to explain the things happening. But the question is, what's happening after that? What happens when the game is up to scratch? What happens when PvP feels like the fast paced fun it was, full of them superhero moments, and it's worth our time taking part in and playing? What happens when PvE has them reasons to stay up all night for, to rush in from work and school to farm, to be excited for the weekly reset and the wait zer, when your friends list are full of people are playing Destiny again, when teams are always full and it's hard finding people to raid with, what happens after all of that? We will eventually need new content. Because yes for sure guys, it's great fun us waiting about playing other games while Bungie fix their latest game by reverting it back to the first game. But if this wasn't the case guys, and Bungie's whole time wasn't spent fixing their game, what would their time be taken up by? The answer is content. We no doubt should be indeed playing right now. Bungie recently announced a community summit at their studios where many of the community were invited to give feedback on the game. This game is something we've been asking for for quite a while. So it's good this kind of demo is great for the future of the game for sure. Again, Bungie taking note of our requests. But yeah, onto the point. When this game is great again, when all the issues are only minor issues, what happens next? The answer is, again, new content. New content for us to dive deep into. Now we have DLC 2 just around the corner. This is an expansion, in my opinion, which has been made for months now. Obviously been touched up here and there, but the core basics of that expansion have been in place for months. The point of this video and what I'm going to talk about may indeed come with this expansion. Highly unlikely, but it may indeed be the case. The game we have now is basically Destiny 1 in terms of subclasses, weapons, vendors, enemies, elements, actual classes and so forth. So really we haven't actually advanced truly in any particular direction. We have basically just recovered, which I suppose makes sense. So it's now time to move on. We now need new reasons to play. We now need new ways to play. And with these new ways to play, I mean new ways to play. A new class maybe, new subclasses maybe, new elements maybe. Now because of Destiny's current state, things as such seem a million miles away. To even think of a new class or new elements or new subclasses is just crazy right now. But why is it guys? I don't think it should be at all. What you should be thinking is, if Bungie went into creating a whole second game without thinking of or creating new classes, subclasses and elements, there are some serious problems behind the scenes there. There is no doubt in my mind these ideas, concepts or even features exist. Now as of recently we have heard Bungie speak of such in the works. Josh Hamrick on the latest Bungie stream, which was also covered within the latest Bungie twab, spoke of such. He was asked and replied with as follows. The question, are there any set plans to introduce new elements, classes, subclasses or weapon types to the game in the near future? Josh answered with, yes to some of those. From my desk right now I can look around and see new hotness on several people's screens. We will be showing off a lot of this stuff in the months to come. And here is the clip of him saying this on stream, on screen now. Let's heat up those seats again. Oh, Alright, let's talk about what 
ID, IBD Hippo, or Cool Hippo, mm, wants to know. This better be for you. Are there any set plans to introduce new elements, classes, oh, subclasses, or weapon types to the game in the near future? Careful. Yes. Uh, some of these things, there are, a, there are definitely plans. It's a, pro, it's a provisional yes. That's it's a not pretty, yes to all. Yeah, that's a large list. Yes. We, no to some, yes to some. Okay. Yeah, we're always uh, trying to evolve and push forward the sandbox, and there will be, there will be things that again we get back together in the future to talk about. Yeah. That I'm, I'm very excited. If you can't tell by my very flat voice right now, I'm super excited. <laughs> but that we can't talk about it right now. But your goal for Destiny has always been to create a game that changes over time, that yes. gives you new forms of combat to master. Anybody who's been playing Destiny for a long time has always had new things to grasp yep. or new things to embrace, uh, new ways to fight, and uh, you are currently working on new things that the community has never experienced? I am not, because I'm in this room, but my team is upstairs right now, very hard at work. Well, we are in many too. places at once in That's our right. lives, and your day-to-day, -day, you are working on new, yes. new ways for Guardians to fight. Correct. New ways for Guardians to, well, I'm just getting way too close to all this. I know. You're, you're going to have I new stuff to, talk to about do. It. Yes, we want to talk about it. This is not a reveal stream, <sighs> but you're going to have new stuff to do. You're going to find new stuff in your inventory. You're going to have new ways to fight. And So he states yes to some of these from my desk right now. I can look around and see new hotness on several people's screens and that they were showing us off in the coming months. So he confirms himself, Bungie are working on some of what was mentioned here, classes, subclasses, elements, and like I said earlier, this should be the case for a sequel. Also something else I want to bring back up, and this was something which was data mined many many months ago, it was from when Destiny 2 was released on PC. The game was data mined and many interesting audio files were found and leaked. The specific audio file hinted at a new element in the game, and the audio clip was of Ikora Ray stating the following. What if there was a fourth energy? Void, solar, arc, and what? I sometimes tire of all these trees. Now I obviously can't show you guys the audio clip here, but I do have it linked via my Twitter within the video description, so do check out that tweet I made. You may as well follow me while you're there. That's if you don't already. Now this was a part of a data mine from ages back before the first DLC came out, which was the Curse of Osiris. Also within these data mined audio files, which at the time had loads of speculation surrounding, which to the point many thought were all D1 files, were the mentioning of the water glass, which many led to believe we may be revisiting this place. The audio files though were to do with the DLC one, and this proved the point that the audio files that were in the game would eventually come into use. There were also audio files talking about Rasputin and a few other things based on the second DLC, which is out soon. And these are audio files from months, months back people. But it is the hint at a fourth energy, which is the point of the video today. What if there's a fourth energy I sometimes tire of all these threes? Makes sense also, three classes, three subclasses, three energy elements, arc, solar and void. If a fourth was added, we'd get so much more content and gameplay. Think of it a fourth energy, we'd obviously get a new subclass for each of the three current classes, Warlock, Titan and Hunter. We'd get a whole new host of weapons also to match said energy. We'd probably get a new enemy race where we discover this energy. We could also get a new class too, which is what I'd love to see most, but this though, in my opinion, is the least likely to happen for now. If a new element is in the works, our current classes in my opinion will become equipped before we get a whole new class. But with a new element, so much more will come with it. But it just goes to show the audio clip which was data mined from the Destiny 2 PC files months back hints at a fourth energy, meaning Bungie definitely had the idea at the time of this audio recording of something for a future expansion. And this, like I said, was months back. So how far has this idea evolved now? How much progression has been added to this idea? Josh Hamrick himself said from his desk he can look around and see new hotness on several people's screens. This hotness in my opinion is a new addition of a fourth energy to the game. What this energy will be though we have no idea, but if I had to bet I'd know that say it was some kind of dark energy, the kind Eris Morn possesses. But that's speculation. But in my opinion from what Hamrick said on stream, and the other hints like this one from Ikora Ray which was data mined, plus the fact that the game will have new content in the works, even though most of Bungie's current team is being spent on reverting most of the game backwards, there will no doubt be a small team somewhere within the studios planning and creating for the future, and the future is in my opinion some kind of new energy. 
But like I said at the start of the video guys, what I am saying here uh, today are basic features when you think about this game actually being a sequel to the first. Everything we've had so far in my opinion has been nothing but a watered down version of what it was in the first game. Eventually something new will come and that new thing in my opinion will eventually be a new element, meaning new subclasses, weapons and a whole host of new content. On that note guys, I am out. So let me know down below what you think about this fourth element, this fourth energy. Do you think it's too much to ask right now? Let me know. Now if you guys did enjoy the video, leaving a like truly helps me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Also hit that bell button to make sure you have notifications on and you never miss a video. But thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the